Hello, this is Michael Tyler and welcome to another free Vectric project video. I call this project the RC Form Wall Mirror and it's compatible with both the VCarve and Aspire software. This design makes good use of the V-carving and fluting toolpath features in the Vectric software and consists entirely of curvy drawn vectors. There is no 3D in this file, it's all vectors. You can download this project file and the illustrated PDF instructions directly from your Vectric VNCO account at any time you wish. Please enjoy the rest of this video and watch the carving and finishing process from beginning to end. Okay, the initial sanding's been done on the mirror and it's uh, almost ready for the final finish to be applied. But prior to staining it, I'm going to apply a sealer and I'm gonna seal this with uh, a mixture of one part of this Zinser Bullseye Seal Coat, which is actually just a 100% wax-free shellac. So one part of that to one part of denatured alcohol. And that gives a really nice uh, sealer prior to staining. Another advantage is it'll stiffen up any fuzzies that are remaining, and once that's dry, I'll be able to sand it again, get rid of all those fuzzies before applying the stain.
Okay, the seal coat's dry and I went ahead and sanded it. Now there's just one more thing I want to do before I stain it and that is to drill a mounting hole so I can easily hang the mirror on a screw or nail uh, in the wall. So I've just uh, clamped this down on some boards. I applied some masking tape uh, on the backside to avoid blowout here. And I'm also going to use a quarter inch drill bit uh, to go through here. And I'm just lining it up with this divot. Now, depending on uh, your mounting choice, uh, you may want to uh, leave this alone and put a hanger on the back or whatever, but I'm gonna use uh, a drill through to hang this onto a nail or a screw on the wall. Okay, ready for staining. The stain I've chosen for this project is uh, Rust-Oleum Ultimate Wood Stain and uh, got golden mahogany uh, color. And I'm just gonna brush this stain on and wipe it off with a rag as I go and uh, take you through part of the process here and then we'll come back to you when it's all finished, all wiped off. All right, the stain is all dry, and so I'm going to proceed to clear coat. I'm using a Krylon uh, Crystal Clear Gloss, and then I'll finish that up with a, a satin. Okay, it's time to cut the 12 inch by 12 inch mirror tile to a dimension of five and three quarters by eight and three eighths. I've also prepped my glass cutter with a drop of three and one oil. I just dropped it on there, worked that around a little bit and then wiped off the excess with paper towel. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mark this. Now you notice that I'm using the flat surface of my table saw, it's the flattest surface in the shop. And I've also padded it with uh, four thicknesses of uh, just plain newsprint. You can use uh, newspaper, just make sure it's an even pad underneath there. And then I'm going to go ahead and mark these dimensions. So I've got a five and three quarter inch width. So I'll mark that there. And I'll just verify that. And I've got uh, eight and three eighths length. Okay, it looks good. So I know I'm gonna have to cut on the inside of these lines to get that dimension correct. Now, before I do that, I'm just gonna take down this mirror a little bit so that it doesn't slip around on me. And I've got a aluminum ruler here, yardstick. It's just a little over, hang that over a little bit over the uh, edge. Now what I want to do is position this glass cutter so it's cutting on the inside of the line. So I'm just taping that there. Okay, we just wanted to do one continuous even stroke. And 
we'll go ahead and do the same thing here. Okay, we should be able to take this over to the edge and just snap that, snap that off. All right, there we go. Okay, I've brought the uh, wooden carving over to position this mirror centered over that oval opening. So I want it to look something like that. But I really can't tell if it's centered without flipping this thing over. So I'll flip that over, turn this over. Now the width of this mirror, the five and uh, three quarters, comes right about to the edges of these indents where the cutouts were made. And then I've got the, the top of that oval cutout there. So I know I need to put that just slightly above that cutout and centered in between here. That looks good. I'll just tape it in place temporarily. Double check it. Okay, I think that'll, that'll do. I might need to come up just a teeny tad. Take a look at that. That yeah, looks good. All right, I'm just going to trace around this with pencil just to help me position this mirror when I fasten it down. All right, it's time to go ahead and affix the mirror to the plaque. Now I did, there's a number of ways you can do it. I did buy some of these sort of what I call them L-shaped uh, mirror brackets and some smaller screws uh, so they wouldn't go all the way through from the backside to the front. But uh, I realized after I purchased these that these are for a quarter inch thickness mirror of course, I could use some padding or something to take up the slat, because this mirror is just under an eighth of an inch thick. But instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some uh, clear silicone. Now, I just happen to have this on hand. This is one of the big tubes. You don't need to go out and buy a big tube. You can buy the smaller tubes, but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, glue that mirror on the back with uh, some silicone. Okay, if you remember, I, I went ahead and traced out where that mirror position is. So I'm just gonna put uh, some dabs of silicone in the corners. And put this mirror over the top. I might get a little bit of squeeze out, but that's okay. I could trim that with uh, an X-Acto knife or something. And I'll just tape this in place while the glue, or while the silicone dries. I'm carefully going to flip this over just to make sure it's in a good position there. I think that's going to work out just fine. Thanks for watching.
Everyone would love to see your own RC Forum wall mirror, so please share some photos of yours at the Vectric User Forum and across your social media accounts. If you'd like to be alerted to future free projects, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this video channel, as well as the Vectric newsletter for all project notifications. This is Michael Tyler, looking forward to bringing you a lot more free Vectric projects. Until then, be safe, be well, and happy carving!